Hi guys, it's Abna for Homeschooling in London. I wanted to do a quick um, haul video. Some of the stuff is from the dollar sh uh, pound shop, whatever they call it, in this country. And some of it's from the do dollar... Um, some of it's from, it's from various different places, basically. So let me start with the dollar store, well, pound shop purchases first. Um, and then I'll go on to the... Um, other bits. I didn't get loads of things, just like a mini haul. So first of all, I got this globe, which was basically a pound, which is I won't say it's the best quality, but it's pretty okay, it's okay really. It's got everything on there. So I got that, it's like a mini globe. And then I also got a book of 25 um notebooks, like little notebooks. I'll show you what they look like and I actually opened them already, so I'm just gonna basically be gonna be using these for, for his handwriting. These are from the, all this stuff is from the pound shop. These, these particular ones I'm showing you now, um, they just look like that. For his handwriting, they're perfect size for like small handwriting. That's that. I also got this uh, Spider-Man thing. It's a whiteboard kind of thing, you know, white clean board. You can use like um, dry white white markers with that, so you can practice his writing with that. And this is the last, but no, one more purchase I got from the dollar store. This is a sticker book. He's actually, I got these yesterday, he's actually already used it, so I wanted to show you what they are. It's actually really good. Um, it's by Os Osborne, Osborne Books, Osborne Books. And what it is, is it has the story, and they give you like a sticker. He's already done it. He, did, he literally did it in like 20 minutes. It's got the stickers, right, and then it will miss out a word, and you'll have the picture, and then you have to stick the sticker on the picture, basically. It's really good because then it kind of teaches them, because it, it will have the word on it. So it will say, like, for example, dog, and then you have to stick the dog onto where the dog is, and children. It's really good. I've got that one, Pigs Get Lost. And then it's, this is the same concept, and it's called um, Dolly and the Train. It's illustrated by the same person, Stephen Cartwright. Don't know if you can get these in the US, but, yeah, they, those were both a pound each. Um, and this is the last purchase I got. You probably keep wondering what the hell this is. This is basically a bag, and it's basically full of scrap craft materials. So you get you get like craft, like textured paper, um, these kind of sack material, tissue paper, um, loads of stencils, different stencils, loads of things in here. And that's all for a pound. You can just use those for your craft. Um, like projects and stuff. Um, so now this stuff I didn't get from the dollar store. I got these from different places. I got this from a place called W H Smiths, and it's phonics. Um, so it's a phonics workbook, and it's like a wipe clean one, which is really good because then you can keep practicing. So he's actually done some of these already because I got all this stuff yesterday, and it's all wipe clean. So you can wipe it clean. It's got fine motor skills ones there. Um, it's just like different exercises that you can do. But it's all wipe clean, which is great. Because you can just keep using it. Um, so yeah, I got that. Didn't tell you how much that was actually, sorry. This cost me £5.99. Which might sound expensive, but I think it's good. Because it actually can be used over and over again. Instead of keep photocopying stuff or keep buying books. They have to write in. Um, I didn't actually say actually, but I also got this from the dollar store too. It's basically a board, wipe clean learning mat. It's got like different like objects for in the home, clothes, toys, play, like that. Like, and you can do like um, you know, like the fine motor skill um, exercises there. This is like for writing here, and it's got another bit at the back as well. So it's really good because it's, it's all wipe clean. And that was a dollar, a pound. Right. So all this stuff here is not from the dollar store. Um, I got a whole set of Jolly Phonics books. And I got these off Amazon. Um, and there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And it's good because it starts off with... S-A-T-I-P-N, 
And then the next one starts with, it's got these ones here. I won't just tell you, I'll just show you. Um, and it goes in sequence. Obviously, you've got one to seven. And it helps, helps, it helps the child with word blending and everything. It's really good. These books are really, really good. Um, by Sue Lloyd and Sarah Wernham, illustrated by Liv Stephen. And these books are actually, I think they're like one ninety nine each or something. But I actually got all these books for, I think it was for £5 off of Amazon. Um, but they're UK, so I might put a link in the description where you can get these. And then I got this part, part of the same um, Dolly Phonics series by the same people. And this is Jolly Phonics Word Book. And so you use these for the, to help them to start blending the words and to get the sounds. And then you use this um, to look up the words for the sounds. So and it'll tell you which groups. So it'll say group one, two, three. All these words are groups. And it'll tell you different groups. And so you match the groups with these books here. So, for example, where it says one, two, and three, um, that will be this book, and then that book, number three, and then the first one, which is S A T I P N. And this book was, um, I actually got this from a place called W H Smiths, and I think it was four pounds. It's a pretty good book, actually. Um, Next book I did get from WH Smith as well is called Maths and English Bumper Book. This is for three to five year olds um, for reception class in America. I think that's like preschool to kindergarten. Um, and it's basically a bumper pack of English and maths workbooks. So you can actually photocopy these if you wanted to. Um, and, then, and, then, and, then, and then you can actually like save it. So if you have another child or something, you can. it's getting quite dark in here. So yeah, it's got loads of different exercises in there, um, and this cost me, uh, I think it was £3 for this book, which is quite good considering, I think, if you keep on printing stuff out of the internet, from the internet, if you're doing it um, from home and you keep on printing out like pages and pages and pages of stuff, it can get quite expensive after a while. Um, so yeah, so that was three pounds. The last thing I got was this box um, of like number puzzle from Melissa and Doug. And Melissa and Doug, they make a lot of wooden educational toys. And they're actually quite expensive, actually. I got this from TJ Maxx though, TK Maxx in England, but in America it's TJ Maxx. And it cost me six pounds. But I'm aware that these things can cost up to 50 So I'm really sorry about that. My camera actually cut off. So, um, yeah, so um, it could, these can cost actually about 15 or £20. Pounds, um, if you're buying them, it's getting quite dark here now, so I need to wrap this up. And um, if you're buying it, like, from, like, uh, a normal store that doesn't do discount, basically... Because obviously, as you know, T TK Maxx or TJ Maxx, they sell a lot of discounted things. That's why I think TK Maxx is quite a good place to go if you're looking to, to buy like things like this rather than like, um, like workbooks or bits and pieces, you know, that you can get from the dollar store or something. Um, I also found uh, some toys in there, like just not like, stuff, not educational toys, but just general toys I got from there. And I got him a car, which he loves cars. Um, and I paid like two pounds for it, and I saw the same the same car in another store for like fifteen pounds. So it's worth going and having a look. Actually, I'm going to show you one last thing actually um, that I did get from um, a second hand store. So that's another thing you could do is look in the Goodwill stores. Let me just a couple of things I did get from the second hand store. Hold on a sec. 